It's a Black Hornet surveillance camera. Uh, basically, we use it on operations uh, to carry out surveillance on any operations we need to do out in Afghanistan. It's useful basically because it saves you carrying out tasks yourself and you can basically act as another man in the patrol. It's a great bit of kit for the infantry soldier because uh, say we were clearing this compound here and we've occupied this compound and it's all secure. The next compound we were given is a compound over to the distance there. Instead of sending a soldier from this compound over to there to clear that compound or a team, all we'll do ideally is put the black hornet up in the air, get eyes on into that compound, so then straight away we're going to identify what's in that compound and we'll do an assessment straight away on what we need to achieve to get into that compound and clear it. Once it starts to warm up, then you wait for the rel. When it rels, the back propeller then start rotating, and at which point then you can clear to release the black hornet. It is affected by the weather due to the size of the black hornet. There, the wind is the biggest problem. The fact that a, a good gust of wind will then send the black hornet off. However, it's got a number of countermeasures. I can press home and the Hornet will automatically turn around and come back to the base location. You get 20 minutes flight time on it, so from you sending the Black Hornet up, you've got 20 minutes in the air. However, you get two Black Hornets per station, so when that Black Hornet's going down after, say, 15 minutes, you need to bring it back and you're not quite happy with what was in the compound or what was on the vulnerable point. Yeah, straight away you bring that back up Black Hornet home, you then reprogram the next Black Hornet within a minute get it up and send it back out in the same location. When that black hornet is up 20 metres in the air, you will not be able to hear it. It's quiet. You're quiet and when you put it up 100 metres, you'll not even be able to see it, which will then give you better arcs for looking into compounds. That there is a lifesaver for the next six months of my tour, so it's a good bit of kit.